kitties and friends, I am back again with another video. And for today's video, I will share with you my tips on how to complete the final floor of Wolf's Spirit Fortress. And is there really a bug in the Wolf Spirit Fortress? Before I continue, I apologize that my voice is kinda husky right now. It's still affected by persistent coughing. I know some of you are aware of this and some of you might not. If you are not aware, Ranger class recently got skills adjustment. Specifically in the passive talent Pursuit 2, this talent of Ranger inflicts poison to targets. And what is different from before is that, instead of dealing 30% skill damage per second, it now deals 3% of current life damage per second. This means the higher the HP pool of the boss, the more poison damage per second it can inflict. This is the reason why Ranger now deals absorb damage on Wolf Fortress. I can't say that this is a bug, but I won't deny that it is an abnormality that is happening right now. Only the boss inside the Wolf Fortress is heavily affected by the poison damage coming from Rangers. All other bosses are not affected a lot by the poison, so you will really think that there is something going on. We will just wait for further information from the MU team about this abnormality. So now, I will give you tips on how to finish the final floor of the Wolf Spirit Fortress. The first tip I can give is that, find a teammate that is a ranger, or play ranger class. But first, the ranger should be at least prestige 9 and has unlocked the Pursuit 2 passive talent. The key to drain the boss HP really fast is by triggering the poison damage of rangers. If you are not yet on that prestige, one member of the party should equip Banshee as one of the deployed companions. What Banshee does is, it reduces the max HP of the boss by 10%. My second tip is that you should remember the attack pattern of the boss. The attack pattern of the boss on floor 12 is really simple. The first attack that it will do is a double slash. It will swing its sword twice. You should avoid this since it really hurts a lot if it lands on you. It can easily be avoided just by moving back a bit, enough not to be in range with the attack. After that cross slash, the boss will do another attack. It will wind up for an attack similar to the double slash. The attack can easily be avoided by moving out from its zone of effect of the skill. The next thing the boss will do is it summons 3 crystals. You have to pay attention to what color of the aura the boss emits before it summons 3 crystals. Depending on what color of the aura the boss emits, you should destroy the crystal with the corresponding color of it. Destroying the crystal will interrupt the next skill the boss will do. It will also remove the silence effect if you are being affected. After the boss summons the crystal, it will cast a frontal dash which will knock you back when you are hit by this. This can be avoided by moving out of its path or by using your dash and blink skills to dodge it. The last skill rotation the boss will do is it will stay stationary for half a second and it will leap into the air afterwards. It will remain invincible for the whole skill animation and once it lands, it will deal a large AOE damage as well as triggering several explosions. These explosions can be avoided by moving in near the boss after the first mini explosions. The mini explosions area of effect will get bigger as it moves away from the boss. So moving away from the explosions is more risky and it's harder to dodge if you are caught by the huge area of effect. That's basically all you have to remember especially if you are the one getting aggro from the boss. You don't need to panic since all of the boss skills are really slow and it can be avoided. Now I will show you how I solo cleared the final floor of the wolf spirit fortress. The recommended power is way too high compared to what I currently have. But as a ranger, this won't be a problem at all. Just the presence of mind and careful dodging of the boss attacks plus the recent adjustment of rangers will do the trick. 
I would like to take this opportunity to give shoutouts to my YouTube subscribers. Shout out to Keith Somsho from server 425, now king of server 395, Batho of server 366, Christian of server 405, and Healer of server 207 from We Are One Alliance. Thank you so much guys for all the support. I will just fast forward this a bit so it won't take a lot of time. And that's it guys. I hope this video helps. As always, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep updated with my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up.